Restricted egoism is a constrained or restricted version of ethical egoism. It means that a person can pursue his or her self-interest, but such a pursuit would be limited or constrained. Consider a group of teachers who are not happy with their current salary packages. They know that striking would be in their interest as it would put pressure on the government to negotiate higher compensation and meet their demands. Thus, the decision to strike in terms of ethical egoism would be correct as it is the pursuit of one's self-interest. However, while striking, the teachers should be peaceful and should not cause damage to property and harm to others or intimidate teachers who choose not to strike. This restriction limits their pursuit of self-interest to be within the bounds of laws and regulations. Restricted egoism is a subset of ethical egoism. So, we know that restricted egoism is a normative theory, which means that it is a theory that focuses on how people should or ought to behave. We also know that it is a branch of teleological theory. This means that it focuses on the consequences and outcomes of a decision rather than on intention. To restrict something is to place limits or constraints on it. We know now that egoism is the pursuit of self-interest. If we add restricted to egoism, it means that there are limits or constraints on the person who decides to pursue his or her self-interest. Examples of limitation or constraints that restrict people from pursuing their self-interest unchecked would be laws and regulations, rules and conventions of fair play. To recap, restricted egoism is a subset of ethical egoism. According to this theory, it is ethical to pursue self-interest However, this pursuit is restricted or limited.